Yeah, I'm winning at life by excelling in mediocrity. I'm a 20-year Army vet. I joined the Army at 30 years old. So uh, when they came out with those Army slogans when I joined, like, be all you can be, most of them went to the gym, worked out, and they did all this huh stuff. Not me. I went to the chow hall. Yeah, I'll tell you, something. So uh, I'm towards the, you know, with that Army slogan, I came up with a different one. Mine was, thrive by getting by. <laughs> so, you know, I'm towards the end of my career, and I still have to take those daggone fitness tests, right? So I show up early in the morning, and I go up to the grader for the first event, and he puts his finger under my nose. And I said, what the hell are you doing, man? I'm here. I got up. He says, yes, yeah, Sarge, I'm just making sure you're breathing. You're good. Yeah, I had a great time in the Army. Um, now I'm going to just flip the script and change the subject. Church, motivation at church. You know, the only time that the uh, pastor's motivated and the congregation isn't is during the offering. So I figured, you know, he has to ramp it up a little bit. He's got to do it like an auction. But the only um, difference is he accepts all bids. So he's got the ushers out, and he's going, 5, 10, 20, 25, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, Type perks like these um, sports stadiums, you know. You see these big mega churches, right? So one of the uh, clubs is the Christmas Easter Club. This is where you donate a thousand dollars and you get credit for going the whole year. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, the Come to Jesus Club. This is for millionaires that have gone bankrupt. And last but not least, the one-on-one -on -one with God club. Now, this one's a little different. It's not like you have to give any money up front because you have to die and leave everything for the church. <laughs> so speaking of death, yeah, a real uh, funny subject. It can be. So me and my wife, we go by and, you know, I'm a pretty tall dude. So the, the funeral director tells my wife, well... You know, when your husband dies, you're going to have to get an extra long casket. It's going to cost more. And she says, cut off his legs. <laughs> and I said, no, 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 baby. Don't worry about that. You know, I I'm so cheap. I'll live longer and I'll just shrink anyway. <laughs> wow, I tell you. So uh, aren't y'all glad NFL season's back? <laughs> Football? You know, I didn't realize that my wife was such a football fan all year long. Man, she's such a Chargers fan. She charges at Nordstrom's, Macy's, Sam's Club. Yeah, she's such a big fan. So, uh, you know, the NFL has all their divisions um, by geographic names. So all the teams are basically grouped where they're located. But I said, nah, we're not going to do that. Well, let's, let's group them by their actual names. So you've got the bird division, the Eagles, the Seahawks, the Cardinals, and the Ravens. The big cat division, the Bengals, the Lions, the Jaguars, the Panthers. You know, hey, you're falling along. That's good. And then we've got the... Uh, Politically incorrect division, the Redskins and the Chiefs. And then they've got this other division called the criminal division. The Raiders, the Buccaneers, the Steelers, and the uh, Patriots. <laughs> so, you know, and then there's one division, and, 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 and at first glance, it might not make sense. They've got the fudge division. And that's the Browns, the Rams, and the Packers. <laughs> well, y'all, thank you, and that is my time. <laughs>